Our mission is vital to our nation's security. It is our talented people who are key to carrying out this mission. It is so important that we respect each other and allow each person the opportunity to perform to their utmost capacity. As such, whenever unacceptable behavior such as sexual assault occurs in our command, it affects us all and can undermine everything we do, both professionally and personally. Sexual assault has no place in our military and eliminating it requires everyone in U.S. Strategic Command, sailors, soldiers, airmen and marines, civilians and contractors to be steadfast participants in creating an appropriate culture and upholding our core values. This month, U.S. Strategic Command, along with the Department of Defense, observes the 11th Annual Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. This year's theme is Eliminate Sexual Assault, Know Your Part, Do Your Part. We all have a role in combating sexual assault. Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month offers us an excellent opportunity to focus on this important issue as individuals and as a command. Let's hear from a few of our members. How do we eliminate sexual assault? Through education and knowledge, letting people know uh, what is acceptable uh, behavior. Sexual assault can hurt one victim, but it really affects us all. To eliminate sexual assault, it's going to take 100% of everyone's effort on everyone's level. It basically comes down to keeping each other accountable, accountable to our core values. It has to be a cultural change amongst all service members, ensuring that everyone is fully aware of the zero tolerance policy. What is your part? My part is being an agent of change, to change the culture of what is thought of sexual assault by making an environment that is free of sexual assault. You must recognize when and where to step in and intervene to eliminate sexual assault. Eliminating sexual assaults isn't just a leadership problem. Each member of the command has a role in eliminating sexual assault and also in having the courage to step in in situations that could lead to a sexual assault. In simple terms, is how would you do it in the battlefield? If you saw uh, one of your fellow Marines or troops, soldiers, uh, airmen, uh, whatever, uh, if, if you saw them under attack uh, or being threatened, you would step in and intervene. And that's really what it boils down to, intervening. It doesn't matter if it's on the battlefield or a social setting. You've got to step up and uh, take care of each other. How do you do your part? If you feel something is inappropriate, it most likely is, and you must take action to do the right thing. It's important for each of us to know what resources are available to those who are impacted by sexual assault so we can help our shipmates and we can help our fellow service members when they need that help the most. So to do my part, I have to set the example and say, look, this, this is not okay. We need to stop this right now. You can't be complacent. You have to step in and do something. This is the only way we're going to be able to stop uh, this from happening and prevent it from happening. The commander and I have a responsibility to act and do our part. As Secretary Carter has said, sexual assault is offensive and counter to our ethos. Sexual assault is criminal and will not be tolerated within U.S. Strategic Command or our military. I will hold perpetrators accountable and I will ensure victims get the assistance they need. If you need help, it is available 24-7. Locally, you can contact your unit sexual assault response coordinator or chaplain. Worldwide, the Department of Defense Safe Helpline is available providing confidential and secure assistance by click, call, or text. I'm counting on each and every one of you to eliminate sexual assault, whether on or off duty. Know your part, do your part.